So when I was born, everybody had the name. My brother Charles, Charlie. My dad, his name was LG, L. My dad and my mom, family, you know, whatever, mom. And my brother David. So when I was growing up, all I heard was Dovey, or mama, or Charlie, or David, or whatever. I was growing up for a long time. I didn't know who she was. She, they were saying, hi, little sister Gloria. <laughs> <laughs> and so one day, my brother Charles is out there playing, and the mother, uh, mother brought us, our parents brought us this little Tonka truck. So this guy came over and said, hey, little Watson, is your sister Gloria at home? I looked at my brother and looked at him, and my brother Charles said, oh, Dobie. <laughs> so for a long time, all I saw in the middle was dope, dope, dope. Somebody else, come on up and make a tribute. Amen. Come on up. I'll make my little Amen. tribute right quick about my lessons coming up. I just want to say I've been growing up, bro. I ain't going to tell you. A lot of years. A lot of years. And uh, she has been the same since I met her up until this day. She hasn't changed much. She just got a little younger. <laughs> but she's always been pretty much, as they would say, a child of God. And she keeps her head up, you know, and that's that's what's sweet about it. She praises the Lord from the heart, not just from the lip. Y'all know how we get some of these folks that praise the Lord from the lips and not from the heart. But she praises from the heart. And this is one of the qualities that I wish all of us had, that we just let it come from here. She's been a good friend. We care about you. We love you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. I want to give praise to God Almighty and minister on the cross. I usually get up to you very much. I just let what I do speak for me. But this young lady I've known her all her life. Mm -hmm. She lived on the same street. And she is an example for some of these other ladies on how to be faithful in your report. She is always faithful and always telling you she is faithful. I just love her and I couldn't pass up this moment. I just don't have anything to say, but I, I have to say it for you because you're special and you're an example. And that's what we all need to do. He wants us to be faithful, just like he is faithful and just like he is to forgiving our sins. But we have to be faithful as stewards and I really appreciate who you are. Amen. Nobody else 
But lo and behold, God said, God looked down at me and said, you don't hush your mouth, your basket coming. <laughs> so just as Gloria and them sat down, here come Reverend Connors and Jamari coming in with our baskets. And I was able to praise God all the day. <laughs> Appreciate you and thank the Lord for how He's just blessing you yeah. and you just stay humble and the Lord just got great things for you Amen. and we love you so much. Amen. Good afternoon, everybody. I don't like to talk a lot, but because I love my mother, so Mother Mercy, um, I know her like two years now. And I see her grace. She's very, um, truly um, a mother, like a servant of God. Like she, her faithfulness to the pastor. I really appreciate that. And um, watching her is like she's a, a good teacher to all of us. And um, and she's funny too. <laughs> when, when she's like trying to scold us, you just have to wear her glasses. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what does that mean. <laughs> that's it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Brother Maxi, you're a beautiful person inside and out. And I remember you when I first met you with these little kids coming here to. Um, the Holy Tabernacle in Samuel Moore. You was in here to beat that baton. You and Michael Minix, and you always been the same. You're on fire for the Lord. You're beautiful. You're a woman of God. You yes, worship. Sir. You got a beautiful voice. And you did a good job raising your kids. Your, your kids are split the image of you. You're real off from you, your family. And I want to say you got some good kids. Congratulations. Amen. Amen.
would just like to say, Mother Maxine, to you, when I first met you here, I um, had just came into town, and I was at Taco Bell's church, and you all invited me to come over on Tuesdays with y'all studies, and I would come sometime, and you've been the same no matter what. If you had a problem, you had a listening ear. If you were down, you were there. And whenever she greets you, it was always the love and honor. Amen. And when I started working out at the prison, her son came to work with me in the kitchen. And I was like, <laughs> and it was. Wow. And me and him worked hand in hand. And when he left me, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my officer no more. And she told me he had moved up to San Diego. And I prayed the Lord to keep him. Yeah. And every time I saw Sister Maxi, yeah. I would always ask her, how is my baby doing? Yeah. Yeah. And whenever I see him, he's just like his mom. Yeah. He's always the same. And Sister Maxie, I love you from my heart. And all that you do for us women that are growing, we thank you. Tearing up the east side, and, <laughs> and you know, and 
I seen her mad. <laughs> you don't want to see that. <laughs> I, I seen her mad. <laughs> so you don't want to see that. But yeah, but through it all, through my good times, my bad times, she was always there, pick me up, you know, dust me off, say, hey, boy, you know, they're looking down at you. you know, I remember many times trying to get out of uh, coming to clean the church with Big Mama and my mom, and I'm walking over here and hitting these pews, but you know, they taught me a lot. And, I've never run across anyone who's ever had anything negative to say about her. And I always knew I had to be on my game because everybody was like, oh, you dopey son. <laughs> <laughs> so, you dopey son. Oh, you're, you're Uncle Gene. You're, so I always knew things. So they always kept me on the up and up. But I like them all. Since everybody's talking, um, I'm going. I'm a Thomas Watson, my dad's from Jean, my mom's not Janet. I'm here at Dolby. What's up, Dolby? Hey. Uh, <laughs> I know I was always been a little rebellious one, I would say, but she's been really patient with me. And she's been a mom first and second. And I want to uh, thank the church for being her second home and second family and taking care of us and her taking care of them. Um, much love, and Dolby. Um, yeah, I hope you have a good rest of your life. Beautiful, setting of the church and I wasn't looking but I've been out in the community and stuff and retail areas and she's the same whether she's here operating or doing errands or whatever business was she didn't change 
she was the same. She greeted you the same out in Walmart or wherever or the 99 cent store. <laughs> it was the same as being in church and, and I certainly commend you because you help you are an example of a woman that fears God. That's right. Because you can have a lot of attributes that'll pass away. But a woman that fears God, she accept, you excel. And you're an example unto those around you to pattern and be a mentor in their own lives. And we thank, I thank God for you. Thank God for you. Amen. 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 tipped in late, but I had it all planned what I was going to say. Now, but I just want to say this very, very short little It's your season to be blessed. That's it, the boy. The man, the man wouldn't make a move until he knew she was going to be coming along. And so you hear what I'm saying. Many times I talk to Pastor Taylor, and I'm not talking behind his back. He's sitting right here. Many times we are talk, and he said, well, uh, Sister Cleo, did you talk to mother? <laughs> I, like, I don't know her phone number. <laughs> but seriously speaking, you are a modern day book. Yeah. You really are. Strong, dedicated, yeah. reliable, and I can go on and on and on. And when she does put on them glasses, she'll say, sweetie, <laughs> love, all those little pet names, words, I would say something different. But mother, seriously speaking, yes. it's way over this. But the Bible did say there's a time for yes, everything. Yes. And this is your time. And yes. also, She's one of the best drivers in Imperial Valley. Amen. <laughs> Believe me. She has one of those, is that the right foot? Yeah, a heavy foot. Yeah. God bless you and we love you. <laughs>
Thank you, everyone. If there's not anybody else that wishes to say something wonderful about Mother Gloria, then I'm going to turn it over to the court. Amen. 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 Let's give the Lord a hand praise. Amen. I'm going to say all I got to say a little bit later. Amen. But uh, I just want to take the time at this moment uh, to present something. And we're going to, somebody press the pause button. You know how there's like a little pause button you press on the, on the recorder? I want you to pause that for a minute. And then we're going to start back the service. Amen. Amen. I see sometimes being the pastor gives you that privilege. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. And so we're going to take that privilege at this moment uh, before uh, our pulpit expediter comes. But I want to present the certificate of baptism. Amen? Amen. Uh, this certificate says such. It says, this certificate certifies that Rogelio Alvarez was baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit on the 21st day of April in 2024, Holy Tabernacle Church of God in Christ, El Centro, California, 92243, signed by Reverend Larry J. Taylor, the second pastor. At the bottom it says, meaning of baptism. Know ye that ye know ye not that so many of us were baptized unto Jesus Christ, were baptized unto his death. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism unto death, and like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so. We also should walk in the newness of life, Romans 6, 3 through 4, in the KJV version of the Bible. Can somebody say amen? amen? Now, if he wasn't a son of our church mother, I wouldn't have did that. Amen. amen. But I know she loves Brother Rogelio. Amen. I want to present this to you at this time. Right where I'm standing, we did baptize this brother. And he experienced a life-changing event. Praise the Lord, ladies and gentlemen. Praise the Lord. I just want to say thank you for everybody for being here today. I'm very happy to be alive. I should be alive today for real. Uh, most of you know my condition I was in when I got here, so you all, especially you, Pastor, you've been uh, a stepping stone in my Christian walk. I'm a baby in Christ, by the way, so uh, better late than never, my mom says. That's right. So That's right. Um, I give glory to God for today, and I am the honoree. Uh, you've helped me tremendously in my walk. Um, you're like a mother, even though we're different colors. So, you know, if, if, if you, you know, but you've been very loving and kind to me, you know. Uh, you know, because when I was here, I was, um, I was in a bad place. You know what I mean? I was, I didn't care if I didn't die to tell you the truth. But, grace be to God, he had a plan for me, you know. So, uh, and I got baptized right here, and I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm a changed person. Amen. I'm a changed man. Uh, I'm the glory, you know, I mean, I am, and I've helped others to come to Christ, too, you know. So, my mom is straight Catholic from way back in the day. All my aunts and uncles were Catholic, you know, so they don't want, they don't want to hear none of it. And I got my mom to open the Bible now. You know I mean? Amen. So, Amen. So, um, the Lord's good. Yes, he, is. he treats me better than I deserve. All right. You know what I mean? Um, so I just want to say thank you. Thank you. God bless you, my brother. And this, you know, it's just a piece of paper, you know, but it does mean a lot. Uh, somebody just tell me that I can even use this as uh, a court record. That's right. Uh, I think somebody else told me I can use it as uh, college credits, if I believe, something like that. 
Uh, but this is very, I mean, this is the best thing I've ever done. Besides being a suicidal failure, this is the best thing I've ever done. Amen. You know what I mean? So, uh, besides being a suicidal failure, this is probably it right here. So, I give God the glory yeah. and you beautiful people for being here today because the Lord is good. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we're living in perilous times, man, and just, it's just, we need Jesus Christ so much today, you know? He is so good to me. And I, I pray that he's good to you, too. But he's been so good to me. You've been good to me. Y'all been good to me. You know what I mean? You guys know my situation, man. You know what I mean? I used to be in a van down by the river. Now I'm in a van down by True Light. All right. True Light Missionary Baptist Church is where you'll see me. Because I used to be in a van down by the river, heading nowhere fast. So, praise be to God, I ran out of gas in El Centro, California, and all places. Uh, and I used to say, what are the odds? But no, a friend of mine told me, it's providence. You know, it's, not, it's not a coincidence, it's providence. So, uh, you know, I give God the glory, man. It's good to be here. Thank you for this. And uh, you've been also a blessing, God. You know, so... If you want to be, I'd give you a hug right now you're behind the pulpit. So, you know, we'll say that for later. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being here. And uh, God bless you all. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. Every time I see in and out bugger, it reminds me of her because she's the first one to give me a, I don't know what a double-double was. What's a double-double? What is a double-double? What is a double-double? She brought me one one day, I was like, man, those are delish. <laughs> Every time I see an in and out burger, man, I'm like, it, it, it reminds me of Mother Gloria. I'm like, man, I need a double double. <laughs> so when I come to church, I need a double double. You know what I'm saying? All right, thank you. <laughs> Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What a celebration. Amen. Amen. Honor him. Yes. His mother, go to see. Yes. Amen. Now, I'm Pua Pitney Choi. My name is Sebastian Blair, pastor of Church of Living Water. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. And, and uh, we're going to move on, but first I would like to say that I don't even know if she remembers, but a mother, Mother Watson, every time we had our doors open, if it wasn't in service here, she was over there. Amen. Amen. That's why I met Sister Glory at the time, not Mother Glory. Amen. So she was a woman of God. Amen. Amen. She trained her daughter right. She brought her with her every time she came to church. Because see, when we first started, we believed in having revival, oh, yeah. different things, most of every week. And look up, I thought they was to be a member of our church they coming so much. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And I appreciate her. And, you know, I didn't know her family. All I knew was Mother, uh, uh, Mother Watson and Sister Gloria at the time. Amen. I got to know some of their brothers and and nephews and others later on in life, but this is a glory family. God's love a family that's come together. Amen? Amen. 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 We got so many families now that they don't like, they don't appreciate each other. But as long as you can come together, pray together, worship together, fight together, amen, but stay together. Amen. 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 So I will take off my hat to Mother Gloria McGee. Amen. Yes. Next nice C. Let me. Next nice C. Yes. I've been knowing her for a good while. Good while. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. I won't say how many years. Stop telling our ages. Amen. <laughs> but but she has been the same. When uh, Pastor asked me what I do, pulpit, I said, 
chairman, I said, uh-oh, what am I going to say? Amen. You can't say enough about someone that has worked as hard as she works. Yes. Amen. When, when Bishop was here, amen, she was here. When Bishop went to glory, she was here. Yes. Amen. Pastor Taylor came here, she was here. Yes. And she's still here. Amen. Amen. And we thank God for that. And I just want to say that before we go any further. Amen. You know, it's 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 a joy being around people that know Jesus. Yes, sir. It's a joy being around somebody, amen, can tell you about Jesus Christ. Yes. So we're going to get ready now. Everybody can participate. We're going to get ready to receive an offer. Amen. 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 So glad to see so many people come out today. So I know that, amen, she uh, uh, well recognized. That's right. That's right. When you see people show up, amen, she, you're well recognized. Sometimes you see people just come to look and see who somebody is and, and what they can talk about. But if you want to talk about anything about uh, Sister Gloria, they're going to be good. Amen? Amen. 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 Curses, they come on. Amen. Get in your, to your pockets and the wallets. Amen. <laughs> and, and give a good offer. Amen. That she might be blessed. That's right. Amen. Amen. Amen.
recognize the love of the churches. Amen. Now we had a phase on here for two to five minutes. So it shouldn't be no say what you got to say. <laughs> Amen. 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 Hallelujah. But do we don't want to recognize the churches? Amen. I saw Pastor Brown. Right oh, okay. Right <laughs> Amen. All the way from Powerhouse. Amen. Pastor Tom. Amen. 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 All the way from Yuma. Amen. Pastor Porter. Amen. All right. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Is that here in Broadway? <laughs> we got. Uh, Superintendent. Yes. Yeah. 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 My son in the gospel, a son that I've been knowing for a long time, his spiritual son. Amen. From Macedonia. Amen. Pastor Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Right around the corner here. Amen. Man, if you want to know something about the Bible, amen. Pastor Dees. Hallelujah, Jesus. And you know the pastors here? And you know the churches here? Amen. Don't want to leave nobody out. Just raise your hand. Amen. I want to recognize the churches. Amen. I thank God for the opportunity to be the pulpit chair. Yes, sir. Thank I you. thank God for uh, 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 giving me strength to be here. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. I'll say it again. You are looking good. Amen. 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 Looking good. Amen. My wife, when I'm driving, she said, go around right the other way. So I'm park on the other side. I don't like to walk so far. Amen. When I got here, park right in the front. All right. <laughs> I walked in, but we got here early. <laughs> Amen. When I look out here now, I said, wow, I'm glad I got here. I had to walk my block. I can't walk like I used to. Amen. So I just, I'm just glad to be here. Amen. I'm just glad to be in God's house with God's people to honor. Amen. Mother glory, I see. Amen. Amen. All right. At this time, it's on this, this the choir coming. Amen. That's just going to be the introduction. The introduction. That's going to be the introduction. And then following the choir. Okay. At this time, we have the introduction of the speaker, and after that, the choir. My job is done. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Good job. Amen. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for coming. Uh, I'm sorry to see you guys um, for coming tonight. Uh, once again, in the house of God. Um, it's my um, pleasure to introduce to you, and I would like to give honor to our honorary and to to the elders and pastors. Um, thank you for coming. So let me introduce to you our speaker for tonight. Um, he is um, very dear to me. Um, our pastor, Mr. Pastor Taylor, Larry Taylor. Um, he's been serving this ministry for many years now, um, traveling back and forth, and um, it's, it's our honor and pleasure to serve this church, and um, he's, he's very faithful, servant of God, and um, we love this church so much, we don't really we give time, we give our time to come over here no matter what yeah. for, for the glory of God. And let me introduce to you once again our Pastor Larry Taylor. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm not really good in talking. So I'm going to this this morning um collection. Let's rise up to our feet. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Mother Gloria. <laughs> 
Touch the microphone, just this thing, just sing. Amen.
without God. Lord and Savior. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. You may take your seats in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. We thank God for this opportunity to be able to present to you on this special auspicious occasion. Amen. Our, our celebration of our church mother. Amen. Give honor Amen. to all the pastors and ministers and deacons. Uh, that are here and all of you my father's children i thank god for uh, my church mother i thank god for deacon watson i thank god for the first lady amen i, I don't have a whole lot i got just a little bit i want to share amen and then we're going to go for a few things but i do believe that there is a word from the lord yeah. Yeah. amen somebody yeah. mother mcsee is uh, very special to me uh, you don't hear a lot of pastors doing appreciation services for their church mother these days. But she's very special to me because before I got here, she loved on me. When I went through the process of being vetted to be here, she loved on me. When there was trials and tests, she continued to love on this pastor. Amen. Amen. And she continued to support. So uh, I'm one of those people. I know how to delegate. Amen. Amen. And I, I asked her to do a lot of things for me that a lot of pastors may not ask. But that's how much trust I have in her. Amen. Amen. 
and so uh, I know a workman is worthy of his hire. Yes. Amen. And I thank God for her uh, because if she didn't have the God in her that I serve, she wouldn't be able to do what she do. And so I really appreciate her. I'll be here till the sun goes down if I tell you all that she's done for me and for this ministry and for God. Amen. Amen. Let's get to work. Can we do that? Amen. If you open your Bibles, let's go to Hebrews 6 and 10. Hebrews 6 and 10. Hebrews 6 and 10. Say amen when you get there. Yeah. And I'm going to read through 11. It reads as such. It says, For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shown towards his name in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. 11th verse. And we desire that every one of you do show the same di diligence yes, to the full assurance of hope unto the end. I want you to say with this with me and then take your seats. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on. All right, you may be seated. Keep on. For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shown towards his name, that ye have ministered unto the saints and do minister. We're here to honor someone who has worked tirelessly for the Lord and for the Lord's people. And when we're servants of God, those that have our eyes on Christ know that working for the Lord will pay off after a while. Amen. We encounter at times saints that are new in the faith. Saints that may be immature in their growth. Saints that have the impression that ministry uh, is a sprint and not a marathon. But I got news for you. Uh, we just got through the Olympics and this is a marathon. Uh -huh. It's not about who's the quickest, who's the fastest, but we got to finish our race. Yes. Yes. Amen, somebody. Amen. Even the best of us at times get weary and get weak and get troubled and get tired. And I want everyone to know that God is omniscient and God he is omnipresent yes, yes. God knows what you're doing God knows your labor God knows your service yes. he doesn't forget God does not overlook you so keep on keeping on keep on loving God keep on loving God's people Yes. Keep on serving the Lord yes. and ministering unto others around you. Yes. Amen. Tell your neighbor, keep on. Keep on. We find in our text, we find here that the writer of Hebrews is dealing with the situation where there are those that are not as mature in the gospel. And they were dealing with some warnings about spiritual immaturity. Amen. That leads to faithlessness and God's judgment. And we must live by faith. And our faith should produce work for the Lord. Can I get a witness in here? God forbid we live and find that there's nothing but dead works. God does not want us to witness his power, witness his might, witness faith in action, baptism, deliverance, and see the power of the resurrection. Experience the laying on of hands, encountering miracles, signs, and wonders of God, and yet, whoo, forbid we fall away. God forbid that happens. As we should have an unwavering faith. 
unmoving commitment yeah. to the work and service of the Lord. Amen. We're in a time right now where the church is pretty chill, pretty relaxed, not under the pressure of persecution. Uh -huh. We don't hear about folks dying for their belief. Back in their time, they were. Amen. Amen. These days, it's hard to get people just to show up to the church. And the folks in the church ain't really part of the church. There's a lot of folks that show up just to be seen. And they think showing up through the doors is going to save them. Well, I got news for you. Saving comes by a conversion of your spirit. Saving comes by a renewing of your mind. Amen, somebody. See, some of y'all come into the church and think God just going to do something for you. Hey, you got to repent and turn from your wicked ways. Yeah. See, we got a lot of trouble in the church these days because people come in here and they bring all their demons and devils. But we that endure till the end shall be saved. We must keep our eyes on Christ. Amen, somebody. And I want to admonish you today uh, to get to work. Keep on serving God. Yeah. If you've been sitting back, warming up the pew for many, many years, it's time to get on your feet. Yeah. And it's time to serve God. Yeah. It's time to do the work of God. Yeah. Amen. Not to impress your pastor. Right. Not to impress the choir. Yeah. Not to impress the usher boy. Oh. But because you love God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Some of y'all got to shake off that spirit, that demon that want to close your eyes. Nah. Amen, somebody. I know y'all ate real good between church and coming back to the evening service, but shake it off. Look at your neighbor and say, shake it off. Yeah. Amen. I got to tease y'all. Amen. This is serious business, y'all. Just because it's serious don't mean I don't have happiness about it. All right. Just because the series does not mean I don't have joy in preaching this. Because I got joy. Amen. Because I know the power of God. The power of God can change your life. The power of God can turn you around. But I want to warn you. Somebody say warn them, preacher. Yeah, when I looked in the Bible and I went to Matthew chapter 7. And when I went to Matthew chapter 7, I looked down and I read in verse 15 it says, Beware. Of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruit. What kind of fruit you got around you? Do men gather grapes and thorns or figs of thistle? Even so, the, the, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt bringeth forth evil fruit. Hallelujah. Amen. If I want to find out what kind of person you are, I'm going to look at the fruit that you have. Amen, Amen. Yes. Amen somebody. Amen. Then I dropped down. Somebody say the preacher dropped down. Yeah. Went to verse 21. Yeah. There it said, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. And many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not uh, prophesied in thy name? And in thy name cast out devils. And in thy name done many wonderful works. Then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you work of iniquity. My God. Don't let that be you or I. Uh -huh. We got to make sure we are living a life for God. Yeah. Stop dibbling and dabbling. Stop pretending. 
Uh -huh. Live the life of a Christian. Live the life of a believer. Live a life that others can see God working in you and through you. Because in Hebrews 6 and 4, I read it said, For it is impossible for those that were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift that were made partakers of the Holy Ghost and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. If they fall away and re renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucified themselves to the Son of God afresh and put him to an open shame. That's serious business, y'all. Don't touch God. Don't experience God. Don't receive a feeling of the Holy Ghost and then go back into sin. Stay saved. Amen. Stay saved. Folks quander about this and they wonder, well, is he preaching to the saints? Is he preaching to those that were never saved? Are, is he saying that those that are saved can lose their soul? Or is he just preaching to sinners? I got news for you. It don't matter. Stay saved. Amen. I, I, I'm sorry. It's a holiness church. I'm going to preach it. Stay saved. Uh huh. Live the life of a saved person. Uh huh. Live the life that you know that God has blessed you. God has kept you. God has turned you around. Can somebody say amen? amen. We got to keep on keeping on. We got to keep our minds stayed on Jesus. Yes. I know it's hard. And I know it's challenging. And I know it can be burdensome to keep our focus at times. Because there's so many distractions in this world. Amen. There's so many trials that we endure. And we look outside and we see those living in the world. And, and it seems like they're living better than us. But I want you to know that your riches and your gold and what you're striving for is not earthly. All this earthly stuff will pass away. All this earthly stuff will disappear. And if you go before the stuff goes, somebody else is going to enjoy it anyway. God wants us to trust and obey the commandments. We can't cheat and lie, steal, and think that God is going to bless you. Keep working. God sees your sincerity. God looks at your heart. And God is, uh, is looking to see what our future is. And if we keep God in the right place, and our hearts and minds on Jesus, when we do that, God will bless us. When we do that, God, we give God the glory. Amen. When we do that, God puts our hearts in the right place. Amen. The Lord wants us. Hallelujah. The Lord wants us to live knowing the promises that he has for our life. Amen. You can do the work. Somebody say, do the work. Do the work. Hallelujah. Without having to have a pat on the back. Do the work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Without somebody having to say, good job, keep on yeah. doing it. Right. Do it because you love God. Yeah. Do it because God has been good to you. Yeah. Keep on working. Yeah. God will not forget you. Right. God will not leave you. Right. God, he wants you and I to keep on working. Yeah. To keep on serving. Yeah. To keep on doing the will of God. Yeah. Keep on praying. Keep on fasting. Yeah. Keep on believing. Yeah. Keep on trusting in the Lord. Keep on praying. Keep on reading. Keep on prophesying. Keep on preaching. Keep on doing the will of God. Keep on in the name of Jesus. Keep on because you're more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. He strengthens us. the work 
of God. God is going to tell him. God is keeping a book. God is watching. God is keeping score. God is looking at how you love your neighbor. God is looking at how you obey his word. God is looking at what you did with his son. Keep on in the name of Jesus. You can't keep on living a life of bitterness. You can't keep on if you're living with hate in your heart. You can't keep on if you got unforgiveness. You can't keep on if you're a greedy dog. You can't keep on if you're a hypocrite. You can't keep on. But if you stay faithful to God,
Tell your neighbor, keep on. Amen. At this time, before we get ready for the presentations, I have a couple things I want to uh, present myself. When I got here, uh, Mother McSee was already working as a church mother. And uh, I did not realize that she was never really uh, given a certificate of appointment. Amen? Yeah. And I came here as pastor um, in April and so of 2017. So this certificate is from the Church of God in Christ. It says, Certificate of Appointment. This is to certify that Gloria McSee is hereby appointed to the office of church mother of Holy Tabernacle Church of God in Christ, recognizing her wisdom, influence, and nurturing role within the home, church, and community, and shall serve in this office from April 30th, 2017, unless this office is rescinded. This is done the 30th day of April, 2017, in the city of El Centro, County of Imperial, State of California, signed by myself. Elder Larry Taylor, pastor. Can somebody say amen? Amen. amen. We love you. And this is to honor you. This is a very important document. This is an official certificate from the Church of God in Christ. Amen. 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 And then the church, we have one more. It says, honoring evangelist Gloria McSee for her outstanding dedication, loving kindness, and faithfulness to God in serving the appointed position as church mother, Holy Tabernacle Church of God in Christ on this day, 25th day of August, 2024. Amen. This is from your church. Amen. Other presentations.
Amen. All right. Amen. Mother, I think you're going to have to use the back of my truck today. I'm saying my definitely too. Thank you. 
Amen. Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. This is if your idea. Yes, sir. I want to commend Pastor Taylor for uh, setting this time aside to recognize um, Mother Lexi, her son, and the grandson. Nephew, Grand granddaughter and granddaughter. Nephew. They get to see this while she's living. And that speaks volumes of their accomplishments. Enough has been said, but I want you to know how much, first of all, I appreciate you. Um, my wife and I, we drove to Victorville on Saturday from San Diego. And then from Victorville, we drove down to Menifee. And then this morning, I was in Menifee at the View Church, and I had to preach 7.30, 9.30, and 11. And then from there, we came straight here to see you. And that's not a lot of people I would have done that for because I'm 65 and I'm tired. <laughs> but they came here to see you. There's another service in San Diego. Um, but I want the Alliance to know that you all come first when it comes to Pastor Brown and First Lady because we love the Alliance family first and then everybody else is second. And so that's why we're here. Uh, so we came straight here. And uh, we, I, want, I want all of the Alliance Men of Pastors, please stand. There are eight churches um, represented here from the Alliance, I think nine churches. And we have this for you. It says Appreciation Award presented to Mother Gloria Missy for the years of service on August 25th, 2024. Aviyama family with love. Heavy right here. Amen. Ah, amen. <laughs> this is just a token of our love towards you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, Mother, it's a good thing you got some bodyguards with you as you walk out. Amen. <laughs> to see the labor of love. Amen. Every single one of you show that you came and demonstrated your love towards her and towards our church. And it is very much appreciated. Um, I, don't, I want you to know it, is, it does not go unnoticed. Before you go today, make sure you come and see our church mother. She is like a modern day Deborah, uh -huh, sitting on the hill, uh -huh, able to give some wise counsel to all that stop by, amen. amen. We have some uh, food, I believe. Okay, where we're gonna be serving that? Where would that be served? On the side here? Okay, so as you guys come, uh, just, the door's gonna be open and then you just kinda take the food and kinda go back around, okay? All right, but they will have that ready for you guys right after the service, a little refreshments, amen? 
All right, all hearts and minds are clear. Yeah. Mother, I'm going I'm gonna, of course, I'm gonna let you have some words. Of course, Amen. Amen. Come on, mother, we're gonna release you right now. We're gonna release you. Amen. <laughs> for all who have done what they've done for me, all who have poured into me. I do thank my mother for all that she did, all the pushing and the prying and making me uh, come to church because I wasn't going to come to church. But she said, as long as you live in my house, all right, all right. you going to church. I don't care what you did Monday through Saturday, Sunday morning, you up and out of here at 9.30. All right. So I am so glad that my mother stayed on me. I wasn't always saved. I'm not going to, I'm transparent now because I don't care who knows about me because it may help somebody. And so um, when she used to do that for me, at first I was a little rebellious in doing it. But then I saw what she was doing, what she was trying to tell me and what she's trying to teach me, that as long as I had Jesus in my life, yes. things would be better for me. Yes. You tried it already on your own. So where did that get you? Now, why don't you be, be wise about yourself and do what I'm asking you to do and try Jesus. All right. All right. Amen. And that's exactly what I did. And I am so glad that my mother pushed me. So this appreciation is part hers too, because she poured into me yes. that the things that I should do. So I'm giving half of whatever it is. I know my mother's not here, but I'm giving her half. I'm giving this to her because if it wasn't for her doing what she did, she toiled and she did everything that a church mother, because she was a church mother too, was to do. And she was teaching me what I needed to do. I didn't understand and knew at the time, yeah. but I know now, I know now, and I thank my mother yeah. for all that she did for me. She didn't turn her back on me. She didn't give up on me. I won't turn my back on you, and I won't give up on you either. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I'm here for you. I'll pray for you when you want me to pray for you. I'll talk with you if you, I always have the time because there's a time and a season for everything. Yeah. So I just want to say thank you again for all the love Amen. that was showed to me. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know how to receive this appreciation because to me, I'm just doing the work of the Lord. I'm just doing his work. And I don't need no thank you. I, you know, I'm, I'm appreciative, but I know God has something greater for yes. me. I know he has something greater for me. So thank you again. I love you all with the love of the Lord. Thank you. Amen. Amen. What a wonderful service. Amen. Amen. And I'm so glad to see your family here. Uh huh. They keep up with me on Facebook and everything, and so I thank God for them. Amen. We're all standing. We're all standing. Amen. Amen. Every head bow. Father God, we just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for blessing us. Thank, thank you for keeping you. us. Thank you. Father God, as we leave from this place, but never your presence. Keep your angels encamped around about us. Father God, guide us on the highway and the byway down the street and the alley. Father God, even in the midst of storms and rains and everything else, you are a keeper. Keep us, God, throughout this week. Keep us throughout every trial and, and test. Keep us, God. Give us your wisdom. Give us your direction. That's in your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Until we meet again at the appointed place and time. In his name we pray. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. We got it.